Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Gavin here with another look breakdown. This time we're taking um, a look at the project that I did a few months back and that was a, a German music video by, by an artist that is called Jan David Kirchner. He's a German guy. Um, it's actually not my type of music, but who cares? Uh, I, I love the footage. Um, although it was shot on Sony A7, <laughs> which can be quite tricky to manage. Um, but I thought it was shot beautifully by, by uh, students from the Film Academy here in uh, Germany, which is quite a prestigious uh, film university. And um, I've, I've received many projects from there in the, in the past, and I always like to help them out um, doing their projects. And they wanted uh, a look that is close to uh, the movie Midsommar, which you maybe know. Um, I will just uh, show you uh, some some stills that we used as a reference, um, which are honestly um, kind of all over the place in terms of looks, because I mean, it's a movie. It doesn't all the shots don't have to match, of course. Um, but I still think we managed to uh, get a look close to that so uh, let's take a look at the stills that i chose um so we have here um that's one of the stills that's not what i wanted here we go um so we have this one you see quite cool greens um a lot of magenta in the skin a lot of magenta all over the picture um quite saturated in terms of the flowers at least and uh, the skin has a nice warm tone nice but still a bit of magenta in there very uh, lifted um so there are not a lot of blacks in there and in, in contrast, I'm not sure if this is actually still from the movie, but that's how I want to showcase um, why why the grades all over the place in this movie, um, kind of. I mean, it's a different time of day, of course. It's a movie. It's all all good. Still a beautiful a beautiful picture, um, but it's more contrast to here. Um, this is also very different. I'm not sure if this is actually one I just saw it. Uh, um, when I when I googled googled it, um, this is also a very nice very nice picture here. Um, again, soft greens, very light greens, um, warm tones in the skin, and this one again very saturated uh, in terms of the flowers. Um, <laughs> look at her expression in in the picture here. Um, yeah, so. That's what we have in terms of the film. So um, you can see here, that's how we started. This is Sony A7, like I said. Um, they put quite some effort into, uh, into uh, all the set design and the props and the, all the people they managed to, uh, to get. Um, I mean, the scene lives especially from or the shot lives from all the you know the young women picking uh, flowers in the field and yeah um so um we started i mean i was kind of scared because it was sony like i said um so um, because somebody said he wanted to see the the scopes here better um i just put them here um we actually started with the uh, S-Log3 LUT here. And as you can see, it's quite, yeah, uh, greenish. <laughs> That's just how how Sony works. <laughs> greenish yellow stuff um, all over the picture. And um, yeah, so before that, I like to do some primaries before that. Um, and uh, I just started out by making it um, a bit darker to see how the contrast works. And um, then we went into uh, overall contrast again and put some color in there through the highlights, um, which you can see here. I just made it warmer and 
also a bit cooler in the mids and uh, so it got kind of a balance here you can always see the wheels that I used here so it's a much more natural picture now though it's very saturated I then went and uh, reduced the uh, highlights up there a bit you can hardly see it but it will change the picture in the end sometimes I go also back and you know I change the picture in the process of the grade and then I just know when especially highlights I do before the LUT because I still have all the information there um, what I did then after the LUT was um, put a glow on there so I reduced the highlights like I said here and then I put some glow on there because it makes off it, in, in most cases it makes the picture more uh, more interesting and it's kind of what they did they have like a certain glow on the picture in midsummer as well um, what I did then was uh, change the greens um, so I did that with with the hue versus hue here very slight not slight it's it's, it's slight here but it's it's a big change in the picture um, to be more in this world of midsummer and uh, then I went and I I did these in parallel notes also here because I didn't want any of the notes to go on top of each other they they should not um, interfere with each other so that's the way I keep it clean here um, then I did a slight warmer picture here you can see the shift in the scopes I wanted to have it a bit warmer and then I went in the contrast again because uh, that's when we uh, took a look at Midsommar stills again and it was mu much much more lifted you know the blacks the blacks back there when you put on the LUT the, the blacks are all very dark uh, when you put on the LUT the Sony LUT first first thing on the shot it's all very dark and we wanted to to steer against that with that with that contrast note um, so it's looking quite nice already in, in, in our opinion um, or in my opinion back then it's a few months back like I said but the guys were sitting next to me um, then we went into detail I would call it um, it's like, a, like into the secondaries so this is all over overall the picture this is also secondary here with the greens of course but uh, then this is much more detailed this is the flowers which we wanted to pop um, and uh, I shifted them I made them darker and I put some uh, magenta and reddish tones into the mids and into the highlights so uh, it's it's tricky to uh, to use secondaries you always have to to watch out if you don't destroy anything or if there's something affected by it but in this case it was quite easy because the colors have this certain have this certain uh tone here you can see we i could pick them quite easily so that this this is a typical case where secondary works um what we wanted to do then uh, was put on the vignette so it's you know it's the shot goes like this it's like a it's like a, it's like a small um how do you call it in english um it just it, it's not a zoom but they, they had a dolly and they were just using the optics to to get a bit closer in there and that's why the vignette it, just a just a small vignette work, works very well here and um, a very soft one you can see here it's just a circle and I inverted it and I made it a bit softer put it, do it a bit more soft here um, sometimes I even go back and just change some of the shots I did with 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 uh, clients and uh, I just try to optimize them <laughs> um, and in the end we put on some grain so uh, you can see here oh, it's hardly viewable you can see it in her dress here um, just um, to get this sort of analog look you know um, because I 
there was also grain on midsummer and just helps get some structure into there yeah and that's uh, how we did this midsummer look with uh, sony a7 footage and like you uh, as you can see i used a, a different I used a different uh, note tree here. It's every project is different. You just have to try out things and you just have to adapt. And um, sometimes less is more. Um, this is kind of a basic grade, but it achieved a lot in my opinion. And yeah, I hope you like this one as well because the last one was very, uh, the video was a, a great success in my books. <laughs> already has two and a half K views. And uh, I think it's um, for you guys, it's very interesting to see these, uh, these looks that I really used in my job. And it's not just, hey, I'm showing you this quick advice. I, I wanna do stuff like that as well, but I think it's more interesting to see how I really worked on a project. Um, so if you, if you enjoyed this one too, um, I saw that a lot of people, when the video gets a like, when the last one got a like, you also subscribed. It's it's very uh, that's that's something you can do to support this, and that's how I see um, that you guys want to see more of this. Um, yeah, so this is uh, the second one in this in this series, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, it's a lot of fun for me, and I hope to see you in the next one. And as usual, after this, uh, you get a. A quick uh, you know the swipe the swipey shot <laughs> and then I will show you the whole music video um, which was released uh, also a few a few weeks back so hope to see in the next one as well cheers guys Stop.